and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! <laughs> 2023 is going to be a great year for us. I hope you had a good Christmas. Alright, in today's video, we'll be talking about which English exam do I sit for. You know, this is a new year and um, there's so many things we want to do. We've got plans. Maybe some of us want to migrate to Australia or migrate to some other countries. Some people want to take up some degrees. Some people want to go back to school. But they are wondering which English exam should I sit for. Now, you need to understand that there are different English exams. So in this video, I'll be telling you the English exams. I might be giving you a clue. I might be, I'll be guiding you on the particular English exam you might sit for. This is because some people will prefer the PTE, while some other people will prefer the IELTS. There's also TOEFL IBT, and there are other exams that you can sit for. But you need to understand how these exams are structured and what are these exams for you. Now, the first point here that you need to consider before going for any of these English exams is to know the different English exams. Now, find out from your school, find out from your agent or from the migration website the particular English exam that you would need. We've got the Pearson Test of English, which is PTE for short. We've got the IELTS. We have both academic and we have both general. Now, when people tell me they want to write IELTS, you know, I also teach IELTS. I ask them this question, do you want to do the IELTS general or you want to go for the IELTS academics? And sometimes many of them do not know. So the first thing you need to know this year before you want, um, before you want to write any English test is to know the particular English test that you would need. In today's video, I'll be focusing basically on the two of them, the Pearson Test of English and the IELTS. There's also TOEFL, there's also um, various other exams, okay, but I'm going to be focusing on IELTS and the Pearson Test of English. Now, when you take out your time to find out the particular English exam that you need, it will be a good, that's a good starting point for you because you already, you already make up your mind, oh, I can actually go for Pearson Test of English. Then you would prepare for Pearson Test of English. If the school says, oh, you want to go for social work, you would need only the IELTS academic. Then you know that you have to focus on the IELTS academic. So that is why I said the first thing you need to do is to find out from your school or your institution, or you need to find out from the migration portal or for your migration agent, the particular English exam that you need to write. These things are very, very important. So you don't finish writing the PTE and then they say, oh, is the IELTS you need? And you're like, oh my gosh. And then you run back to go try out the IELTS. Okay, and that's like spending more money and spending all your valuable time. So the first thing you need to do, find out the particular English test that you'll be needing for your migration or for your study. Number two, what you also need to think about before you consider any of the exam is understanding the structure of this exam. The PT has got a structure. The IS has got a structure. You need to understand how the structures are or how these exams are structured. So you know how to prepare for the exam. Now the PT has 20 different question types while the IS has just four sessions. Too easy, right? Before you go, you need to understand these 20 different question types. How are you going to tackle them? For the IELTS, you need to know how you're going to go about it. These are things you need to consider before you choose a particular exam or the particular English exam you need to write in 2023. Let's hear the remaining parts. Now, the third point on my list is cost of the exam. Here in Australia, the Pearson test of English is about 365 Australian dollars. Then when they add the GST, which they must add when you're trying to check out, it will get to $385. I think the IELTS is about 375 or 395 as well. So these are also um, factors that you should consider before you choose that English exam that you want to write. Okay, cost is very important. I don't know in Nigeria, I think in Nigeria it's about 80,000 Nigerian Naira. But here in Australia it's about $385. That's for the Pearson Test of English. So these are the things you need to consider. They are very, very relevant points. Find out if you have that money. Find out how you're going to fund yourself. Find out if you have enough money to fail the exam and, and retake it again. <laughs> these are the things that will make you Put in more attention or focus more on the particular English exam that you need. Very important. The next point on my list here is you need to watch videos. You need to browse these exams. Okay, if you come on to YouTube, you'll see me teaching Pearson Test of English and various other irrelevant tutors teaching Pearson Test of English. Now, watch these videos. Watch the PTE videos, you watch the you go over to IELTS, watch IELTS videos. You tell yourself which one will I resonate with? 
okay these are relevant questions you need to ask yourself before you choose that english exam you need for your migration or for your study purpose am i resonating with the pte pattern or am i resonating with the ielts pattern remember in point two i have talked about the structure of the exam now pte has different question types are you going to resonate with that or are you going to focus on the ielts that just has four sessions these are relevant questions you need to ask yourself as a tutor i won't be in the best of place to determine that for you okay you're going to determine that for yourself now take your time okay take your time and go through those videos go from speaking listen to the writing and um, listen to the reading videos listen to the listening videos and ask yourself will i resonate with this kind of structure for this particular exam which one looks easier which one are people passing more which one would would, would i find very easy to um to to try uh, okay, the time I have, is it going to be enough for me to try out the Pearson test of English or is it going to be enough for me to really sit down and crack the aisles? These are important questions you need to ask. If you don't ask yourself these questions, please do not go ahead and try out the exam. Another thing is so many people just want to write these exams and get it over with. Yeah, I know you want to do that. Some people even go as far as booking for these exams before even contacting you as a tutor. This has to stop in 2022. This is because you have not written this exam before. Okay, now you trying to fix an exam close to, um, I mean, you choose an exam date today and um, you just contacting me today and you tell me, oh, Juliet, I've got three days, I've got seven days to write my exam. I'm not a magician. And because you haven't written this exam before, it's not going to be so easy for you to grasp the concept of this exam. Why not start your preparation first? Then see if you're going to resonate with this exam structure then before you fix a date. Yeah, don't be in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, then take your time, practice it on your own and go have a go at it. It's, some of these exams are not like the um, basic English that you do or the basic exams that we write. There are some tricks, there are some strategies you need to apply before you can do this exam. So take your time. Ask yourself these kind of questions before you determine the particular English exam that you need to write so that you get the score that you need. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you're going to actually sit down and ask yourself these questions before you try out any English test um, in this 2023. Remember, I, I remain your best piercing test of English studio as well as your IELTS studio. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to like this video. Remember to subscribe. You can share it to your friends that need to try out English exam in 2023. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.